Hello guys, I'm out today taking pictures uh, for someone gathering material back in Europe about the best practices for controlling uh, excessive speeding and dangerous skiing on the slopes in context of two fatal accidents that recently happened on the slopes in France. I thought while I'm out here doing that, I may as well film a little bit of well to give you a visual uh, documentation of what it's like here on the mountain at Revelstoke. Of course, if you've got any questions or, or any thoughts on it, put them in the comments, but uh, I hope you enjoy this and find it informative. One of the main things I've noticed here in Revelstoke, and it was the same during my time in Japan, was just how present the ski patrol are on the mountain. At all times, you can see them and they are patrolling the boundary ropes, they are checking the avalanche risk. And because they're always out there, there's a greater chance of somebody being pulled up for reckless skiing, jumping a rope, going too fast. And that, then there's that bigger risk of you losing your lift pass. And because that's always there, that common knowledge is spread around the local skiing community and those that visit. And so you don't have people that, that do reckless skiing and, and put things um, and others at risk. Um, you know, there's always a chance of an accident, but having that greater presence of the patrol here really makes a difference, I feel. Two other things to mention, signs. Here on the mountain at Revelstoke, we have a lot of signs uh, pointing out uh, to be slow in an area, uh, to be cautious, to look, um, to point out that there's a merging piece because there's quite a few of those. So you're constantly on alert, always looking around you to make sure that somebody isn't coming from an awkward angle or that you're not going too fast. Then there is also another thing which is um, there is a separate skiing area for people who want to ski slow. This is used by some of the beginner lessons and just generally people who don't want to go near maybe some of the, 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 the faster groomers. So there's a designated area for that, which I think is a really good idea. Also remember that you have to sign a waiver form here to be able to use the mountain at Revelstoke. And by signing that, you're agreeing that your actions on the mountain are at your own risk. And there are reminders of that across the mountain, big poster of it down at the base of the gondola and little ones by the lift as you're on the hill. And I just think that forces your mindset to constantly be that bit safer and, and not take any unnecessary risks. I certainly feel it works here at Revelstoke, um, but let me know what you guys think. Do you think some of these measures uh, work? Do you think they would work in Europe? Uh, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. If you did enjoy this video then please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so. We're climbing up to 850 subscribers. Thanks for watching guys. See you soon.